Hello everyone, I hope you're well. I'm back again. Um, so, yesterday when I was working on this, um, I decided that I wanted to cover the rest of this. And so this morning, um, just now in fact, I covered the rest of it with that piece of paper there. Um, and I prefer it like that. Uh, I thought to myself that the um, the most important information was on here. On there, this bit here, it was just an address of, of this for this sort of company that made these. But the important information is here and here. So, and I love, I really like that. Um, so I'm happy with that, and I like. When, I, when you fold it out like this, I like the look of this as well. So I decided to do that. I hope you like the video and I hope you like the project. I love it. I'm really, really happy with it. And um, yeah, I look forward to using it, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's exactly how I wanted it to be. Uh, I made a couple of mistakes in terms of things that I could have done. For example, um, I could have... I put the pocket here, didn't I? Um, yeah, I could have made a tuck spot. Um, I thought about it last night, and I, was, I don't know where I was going to put where I thought I could have put it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Here, I think, under there. Um, but it's okay. It's it is what it is, and I can add things to it if I want to. So I'm really happy with it. So anyway, I hope you liked it, and I hope it gave you some ideas. Um, maybe you could go and have a rummage in an antique or vintage shop and see if they've got any. They certainly probably have some online if you wanted to have a try with using that sort of thing. Right, um, so this morning what I thought I'd do is um, I watched a video last night with um, a YouTube um, maker Junk Journal Joy, I believe her name is, and I love her work. She saw that I love listening to her voice. She she um, she's just so calming, and um, she talks about things like um, self care. She does one about self care, and I love that. Um, it and funnily enough, I, I was only recently talking about self care. And I thought it was, it, she, you know, I thought her videos were really nice and really interesting. So one of the videos that she did um, was she made clusters and I thought she made long clusters. So I thought I would have a go at that. I've never done it before, I don't think. So I thought, why not? I've got all these scraps here. Um, so you know to make long ones so why not I think I tried one there or that maybe that was part of a page but you know you keep these sort of things so why not keep that that that's sewn on so that's perfect to use and then I will sew them actually I might do some slow stitch or I might do them on my um, sewing machine so anyway I thought you might want to come along with me and um, see what what to do um, but I check her out anyway she's um, really lovely so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, choose some scraps. I'm going to start with a base. Now I could start with something this long. Um, it doesn't have to stay this long, but I could start with something that long. And then, you know, red, because I don't want it all uniform. Um, let's have a look. I don't think I want... Yeah, so that's a bit long. For me, um, I'm just wondering whether to cut it down or just rip it. I think I'll rip it. Yeah, so I'm going to have it about that length, and then I'm going to rip that a bit shorter. Well, it's not shorter, but there we go, shorter. And then you just keep adding pieces that um, you think might look interesting, and you can extend them out. Like that. I don't like that. Don't like square edges, and you can just do whatever you want with them. Um, 
just in the same way you would make any cluster. These are sort of vintage papers and you want them to look interesting, just layer them up. I'm going to tear this end as well, I might tear it on an angle like that. Yeah, so I think we're going to do that. So I'll start, I'm just going to glue, um, just going to have fun, glue it and see what I get at the end. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just an experiment um, for just a bit of fun, it's just relaxing and I loved the idea of doing something relaxing. Um, love that paper, very um, vintage. That. And of course, if you're going to saw them, you probably need to leave the glue to dry, as you know. Um, again, that's nice, but I don't want perfect edges. So if I put it there, you can see everything on there. Now I've got to remember what I would use these for um, and where I would use these. So. Let me just, just too much of a perfect edge there, so I'm going to rip it and I can use the other piece somewhere. That's better, it just seemed to dominate with its colours. But I like it, I like the colours, so why not? Um, yeah, so I thought maybe you'd want to have a little, um, you know, join me. And uh, hopefully it'll be relaxing. Um, so I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, I want to do something along here because there's too much black showing and there's too much... Um, have a look, see if there's another... Oh, quite like this. Something like that, different coloured again. So how many, it's interesting when you do something like this and you use up your scraps, how many different colours of paper there are, you know, in terms of, um, yeah, just different colours that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm just going to rip this. Oops. I don't want that straight edge. Mm. I do want some black showing, but I don't want... Yeah, I think that's better. So I've already got quite a nice little cluster there. And as I say, I will stitch them. I'm just going to leave that one there for a minute and I'm starting another one and then I'll decide what I'm going to do whether I'm going to add more or um, so if I make a few at a time oops decide what I want as my base um, got quite a few less let's use this one I love this I don't know why I didn't use it so it needs lifting I feel something and book page gonna, this is going to be quite a thick one so oh should I rip it down yeah why not I can get two for the price of one <laughs> there you go and then I'll put that on there can't I? I'm just going to check all's okay. I've got a problem with my phone not charging at the moment and I'm just hoping that it's something that will go away on its own. <laughs> I'll bury my head in the sand. 
Um, yeah, I like this, but I don't like that end. So it, I, if you were like um, straight ends, then that's great. Um, I'm not keen on, you know, perfectly straight ends. I'm just going to rip that off there, put it... Yeah. Oh, like that maybe. Mm, mm, nice. Another nice piece. Yeah. I know that's got a straight end. Just have a look for something else. Why have these all got straight edges? Just to be awkward. I mean, of course, it doesn't matter that much. Oh, hello, Bobby. My little cat has come to say hello. He's normally asleep, but um, he had a very restless night, the same as I did, um, in and out. And, of course, I think I've said before, I don't have a cat flap, so I'm letting him in and out. <laughs> um, yeah, I can hear him when he comes home and he wants to come in. And he is... Oh, nice. No. Oh, I've got some coloured pieces here. No, I don't want that one there. I like my neutrals. I didn't leave that there. Not like I haven't got plenty of scraps. Sure why he's he, maybe he doesn't he didn't have his breakfast when he came in this morning either so I don't know what's going on with him he could well have eaten something he shouldn't if he's been hunting put that on oh it's not too dark today are you We'll have a look in a minute. Yeah, I like that there. Even though it's a straight edge, I like it. Okay, I think it does still need more things. Um, I'll try to keep this video shorter today, not too long. Mm, not sure if I like it on there. Okay. I've got plenty to choose from, so I don't need, need to be. Um... If you make your own videos, you'll know this, but it's always, I find it difficult thinking of things to do that, um, you know, are different. Um, I do, no, actually, that's not true. I do think of things and then I forget them and I should write them down. Um, yeah, I should write them down for sure. I don't want to cover all of that up, so I'm just trying to make, yeah, that's nice. Where though? Here. Yeah, I think I'll put it a bit on an angle there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's easy for me to think of things for me to do, but it's harder for me to think of things to do you know as a video i find it difficult sometimes i think i think a few uh, there's a few youtubers who feel the same you know i hear them saying things like that 
Um, I'm just wondering whether to extend over the edge a little bit. I think that's what the lady did. I don't remember her name. sticks out like a sore thumb. So am I going to put that there? No, I, would, I need something darker. So that bit there it's just not quite right okay I'm going to leave it for now so that's two done and let's make another one so I have this piece yeah the, as I say these are quite long but um, I don't mind that uh, I'll use the smaller pieces on the top using a bit of glossy page because it you know I'm, I'm going to try and cover up the larger pieces the smaller pieces on the bottom anyway so don't mind that mm. well, funny how some papers just don't want to be ripped so far I think I know that's small but I want it there small piece there and what else have we got we've got this here no And of course, <clears throat> what you could do, and I might do this, is um, it's just occurred to me that I could, you know, put some stamped pieces on as well. Um, on, over the top, if I wanted something as a focal point. could stamp some birds or something over the top and or you know whatever put a, a fussy cut flower over if you want something like that I don't know um, and of course you know uh, I haven't thought about what I would use these for I don't want to cover that off because I love it um, but I might see if I can find a small piece just to some texture but not to cover everything off but it's an interesting I think it is about just about texture and you know that sort of thing how am I doing nice um, but 
but I do need more, even though I love it. I'm going to have to put something there. So I've got this. This is my Momigami papers, so again. Using these up. The thing about Momigami is you can make more. <laughs> too precious about things um, like I do I like that as it is but I feel like it still needs something so let's see trusty old brown paper brown paper packaging I don't if I find it too bright I can go over it with my um, ink there's my ink thing my ink dubber there I can always go over something with that tone it down if I had any ink on it but I like that yeah I like that as it is um, I think it does need more, but I'm going to leave that one as it is and carry on and make a couple more. I think this is the fastest that I've ever worked on my, um, on here. Right, now I've got that piece. I'm looking for a, more of a, a stronger piece like that to work from. quite strong but it's too bit too large but I could um, trim it down and I think I'll use this I don't like that white edge showing so much. I think I'm going to put it like that. Um, the, I have always have lots of scraps, um, and I. You know, I sort of shove them in wallets, plastic wallets, and keep them for a while. And then, um, but it is time to use up my scraps. And one of the things I said I was going to do this year was use a lot of the scraps up. No, um, and so this is what I'm doing today. Thanks to Junk Journal Joy, the lovely lady. She sounds so sweet, so nice, and I, I, her voice is very calming. I think that's her, the, you know, part of the point. She, I think she, it's about self help, self care, and um, you know, she she should be great at meditation if she doesn't already do, you know, doing it, leading a meditation or something like that, because she's just got a lovely voice. Um, nice even though it's a bit scrappy it's nice yeah I like this one I like it very much um, So yeah, talking about self-care, um, I'm just wondering how my 
um, friends on here who, ha who have chronic pain are doing. Um, shout out if you feel up to it, you want to, and let me know how you're doing. Um, I have just come out of what I would call a bit of a flare up. It didn't last as long this time, but um, yeah, I had a flare of um, arthritis and possibly, um, you know, a neuropathy and, you know, that sort of thing, which is something that I get. Um, I love this. And it, you know, yeah, it's a very difficult time when you're going through it. It's the relief, which is, if you're coming out of it, um, and it's not just a um, pretending, and you can go straight back in. Um, oh, maybe I should do a bit darker. No, I won't do that colour. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope I hope um, you're doing well. I hope you um, all of you. But I'm, you know, um, in terms of people suffering who joined my channel, um, who are suffering with chronic pain. Um, yeah. I hope you're doing well and you're not struggling. Um, it's very pretty, isn't it, this one? I'm just going to put a square there, just because it came off, so why not? It's just too much, I think, there. Um, yeah. I know how it can feel quite lonely when you're in pain, um, even around all your family and friends, and it can get really lonely. Because it's hard for anyone who doesn't have it to understand what it's like and how it affects us. Mm, I like that. Do a bit of this on. Yes. Um, so yeah, just know that I understand and um, trying to think where to put this sticky. a very difficult thing for people. It's difficult for anyone who doesn't struggle with with um, chronic pain to understand what it's like and so it can cause you know problems within families um, you know if, because it can't be seen it's not like an illness that can be seen and so you you know and yeah sometimes it can cause problems and people trying to relate and understand what it's like and not not being able to because it is too difficult to understand you know where, where is it coming from why have you got it um why does it just, you know flare up and then flare back down again you know why is it like this um It's very hard for everybody involved. And if you have a caring partner, caring family member who supports you, then of course um, that's amazing. People to understand. It does take a while for people to understand um, if they don't, you know, at the beginning. It takes them a while to, to understand what it is. And, um, yeah, that's better. I didn't like the squ squared off edge. All right. This one hasn't got a thick background, but um, that's okay. Let's just mix these up a little bit, get some new papers to work with. 
Ooh. Um, I'll take this off there. So, um, yeah, if you don't have anybody, then I'm pretty sure that it's a struggle for you, so I do feel for you. Anybody who understands. Um, but there are support groups, as I think I've mentioned it before, and you will know this anyway. If you have anything like chronic pain, you'll know arthritis um, support networks and fibromyalgia support network ne networks and lupus support networks and things like that. So um, it's just a whole range of support out there. But whether it's accessible for you, then that's another matter. You know, I don't know what your circumstances are, but I'm hoping it's accessible and it's just a case of um, you know reaching out. So I'm just using my intuition to do this. I'm not, um, it's getting sticky on the back there because I'm moving this way. <laughs> oh dear. Dear me. Um, yeah, this is a bit brighter, this one. Use that. And um, these things are affecting young people as well. It's not just, you know, more mature people of a certain age. It's also young people who struggle with these chronic pains and chronic illnesses. Um, so, yeah, it's important for us all to understand what they're going through and to provide support and just be kind and you know don't judge don't um, get into that thing about judging people because you know you, you think they're lazy or whatever because they're not They need to rest, they need to rest. They know their body's telling them they need to rest and that's what they need to do um, in order to, you know, come out of the flare-up to or to control, or to manage it. You can never control it, but to manage it, it's, um, that's important to, to be given that space to manage. I use different techniques. Um, I use pacing. So I pace myself in, in anything that I'm doing, so I'm not overdoing it at any one time. Um, and um, I have various, what I like to call tools, so I have the heated, um, heated jacket that I wear across my shoulders and my back. I have, um, hot water bottles, because heat, heat does um, help me. Um, depending on where the pain is and, and you know, what, what, what it's coming from, because I have different types of pain. Um, so, hot water bottles, um, a hot bath, uh, with some Epsom salts in, it's always nice. Yeah, you know, just, and also I use a TENS machine. Um, I use compression socks and pr compression gloves, all sorts of different things. And as I say, I pace myself and the pacing, you know, sometimes I don't go out for extended periods of time and um, pacing you know, um, helps me if I'm in the house and things need to be done, then pacing helps me to get through them things. So I just do a little bit at a time. 
Mm. I like this. I feel like it needs more though. So I'd, I'd really love to hear what you, what techniques you use to manage and um, you know, whether you have any advice for any other one, pe uh, pe um, what am I going to, trying to say? Yeah, any advice for uh, people on here that you want to share, please do share in the comments. I'd love to know, you know, how other I, I am part of support groups, different support groups, so I do hear other people, what other people do. Um, but it's always, you know, if somebody's got something that they want to share, then please do. Very open to that, because we all have a little bit more knowledge and um, we don't. You know, we don't need to be in the dark about these things if you've got something that's interesting and helpful. Um, or just helpful. <laughs> it doesn't have to be particularly interesting, just helpful. So I know I'm wittering on, but it, I, you know, it's an important subject to me and I hope those who don't have this, these problems uh, don't mind me talking about it because, you know, it's a, a big part of my life and... Um, I do need to talk about it sometimes and I know I didn't make this channel to, in order to come on and whinge about pain or anything like that. I came on to to do these things but it's all part of it for me. You know, this is therapeutic to me and I hope it is to others who reached out when I first mentioned it. I hope you're finding some a connection. So please bear with me and all right, I'm going to leave that I think. I like it as it is. I wanted a little bit of that showing but it might be a bit too much showing, I don't know. So like that. Yeah, put that there. Yeah, so um, don't be... Um, You can always turn the sound off. <laughs> Just watch me put some music on. So let's see how many we've got. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is going a little bit this morning. And I am ready for a coffee. Mm. You know what I quite fancy this morning? I quite fancy. Uh, let me think. A chai. A masala chai. got six um, now I could add paint to them I could stamp them I'm gonna get my stamps out I don't know if I want to use black, but it won't be too harsh. But um, let's try some leaves or something. And certainly try some of this. So um, do I want black? Or I haven't used this. No idea what it looks like. brand new I haven't used it I mean I've had it a while but I haven't used it oh that's nice so maybe if I dab it 
Yeah, like that. Oh, that's, I like that. <laughs> I like it when something works. Yes. Okay, so that's that one. I might put something else on, but let me just see what I quite like. So this is nice. I might go for gold on this. I do need um, something to put them on. I don't know if gold will stand out, but let's try it. No harm in trying. Let's try it on this piece. Yes. See, I did think that was too bright, and now that's, that's worked really well. So happy with that. Uh, is there anywhere else I could put one? Yeah. It's a pretty one. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you can sort of see it. I do love gold. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Maybe a bird. I'm going to try a bird. I don't have a lot of stamps. There's a butterfly there. I could try that. I don't have a lot of stamps. Um, I, I, I look at them online and I, and I put them in my... Um, basket to buy them and then I never buy them. <laughs> right, now... What colour do I want to use my bird? These birds. Um, black. Because I'm going to make them stand out. So black. So I will put... This one on. Let's try it. See what comes out. That's sweet. Alright, let's try another one. Why not? Oh. <laughs> I don't mind if it, the ink doesn't go everywhere. This one doesn't have anything. Hmm, doesn't matter. I can't see the head. Okay, doesn't matter. But that is a shame. And also, I would I want to invest in one of those. Um, printing platform things. Um, I'd love one of those. I'm just going to try and put it back down, you know. I want the head. I don't just want the wings. It looks odd. Let's see if I can put it in the right place. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think I can. I'm just going to stand up. Yay! Yay, little bird. There we go. Nice. I like that. Let me just take some ink off him. Right, okay. So 
done that one. Um, so we've got flowers on there, we've got a bird on there. This one hasn't got anything. So another bird or a, a large leaf or something like that. Or a wildflower. I can find them. I'm looking at this leaf here that fits quite well. Oh, I don't want to use black. I I haven't used grey, have I? Let's try grey. Yeah, it gives it texture. Can't really see what it is, but it gives it texture, I think. I'm happy with that. Mm. Nice, I'm liking it. I know I haven't made a huge amount, but I think this is enough for today. And um, I am going to stitch them. Oh, I'll just get rid of that. I don't know why these turned yellow. Um, I don't know if it's something that I've done. Or if they do that. Okay, that's taken some of it off anyway. So I'll put those back. So I um, don't know if I have time to do any stitching but um, I could if yeah let's do a little bit of stitching I've got time and I'll just put my glue away just a little bit just for fun we're gonna choose a bright oh hello Bobby we're gonna choose a, maybe a bright colour for some of them Be a dark green, so rather than bright. Hello, hello, Bobby. Little Bobby, he's I think he's four now. Oh, well, maybe I'm not sure actually. I can't, I can't remember what age he is. He is my granddaughter's cat, but she is allergic. Um, unfortunately so he came to live with me and um, he is adorable he's a little tinker sometimes but he's adorable he can get quite feisty at times you've got to watch out for him right there we go but I love it he looks like whenever he walks in front of me it makes me laugh because he I'm gonna do crosses so, um, he um, did I put a knot in he looks like he's wearing little pajama bottoms with his because he's got long hair. He's a long haired cat and he's fully black. And his little back legs are like um like little pajama bottoms. So funny. Just gonna go in again. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I always find crosses easy to do and um, I think they look good. Sorry, hope I'm not out of frame as per usual. I'm going to go in again just to can't really see that one, but try here. Oh, 
Yeah, I do like crosses. Whoops, oh dear. <clears throat> I enjoy stitching paper. I don't know why. There's something quite satisfying about it. Anybody else like it? I, I don't know what it is, but there is something satisfying about stitching paper. So I'm not really thinking too much about what I'm doing. I'm just, this is my mindfulness slow stitch type scenario because um, I'm, I'm just you know I'm relaxed from doing that yes yeah, it has relaxed me a lot that right I don't want any more on here I think might as well use up the um, so what I'm gonna do is just do a stitch all the way down I think but I'm gonna just a running stitch but I'm gonna sort of I don't know maybe a back stitch or something so that it looks that has an effect if you know what I mean if you did it on the sewing machine, stitches are all nicely neat together. Anybody doing anything exciting this weekend? I think after this, I'm going to make myself a lovely coffee, a latte, and then I'm going to. Hmm, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm thinking about starting a new journal, but um, I think it's one that I'm going to offer. Um, oops. Offer, you know, for sale. So I'm just thinking about the, the style that I'm going to go with. Um, I thought about Easter, but it... it it would have to be something that I worked on now until, you know, for another couple of weeks. And where are we? Yeah, we're only at the beginning of March, so I've got a couple of weeks to work on. If anybody would like an Easter journal, let me know. And if you do want one, let me know the style you would like it in, you know. Um, if there is something in particular you'd like, let me know. And... Um, I mean, I'm not worried about it if I don't, um, you know, I'll make one anyway. If, uh, I just don't know if it's going to be Easter. I, um, but yeah, I just, I thought, well, I've made myself a, a couple of new things recently and it would be nice to, to make something for somebody else. Really enjoying this. to try and go at a different angle. I haven't got much thread left as you can probably see. Sorry, I think I was out of frame then. I do apologise for that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much at the end of my thread so I'm going to... pull it through. I could do different coloured threads. Um, I'm going to do another one just to and use a different coloured thread. And, then you can, and in fact, you know, I mean, I could use different coloured threads across them both. This is a lovely vintage thread. Beautiful wine, red wine colour. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to, yeah, I mean, I could carry on with this and I might, what I might do is like cross over with a different colour but for now I'm just going to do another one. Which one shall I do? This one just came to mind. 
Well, it was sitting staring at me, so. Yeah, um, right, what sort of stitch should I do here? Let me just. Don't think I'm going to get a double knot there. You can see how dirty my fingers are. I apologise for that. Ugly. <laughs> Ugly workers' fingers. Right. I don't. Mm, could do zigzag type. I'm just going to make this up as I go along, guys. I'm doing zigzag type. Um, Yeah, I like this. Again, very satisfying. Try it. Have a go. You will enjoy it. It's very relaxing. It was relaxing to do these. There's no stress involved. And, um... Oh. <laughs> she said. Anyway, I, I think you get the picture. And I, I don't want this to be a really long video. Let me see how long that will be now. Okay, longer than I thought. So I'm going to leave it here and um, I hope you enjoyed that and have a go yourself and do make some and um, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.